السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل آئی ایم آصف میتھ کارنر ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا یونین آف سب گروپس وی ول پروو بائی دا تھیورم دیٹ دا یونین آف سب گروپس از اے سب گروپ آف جی لیٹس اسٹارٹ دا لیکچر وی ہیو اے تھیورم دیٹ دی یونین آف ایچ یونین کے آف ٹو سب گروپس H and K are the subgroups of G. Then its their union is a subgroup of G. Also, if and only if the H, the H contain in K or K contain in H, it means that. all the elements of h are in k or all the elements of k are in h in by by this condition the union of h union the union of h and k will be subgroup of g let's start the proof suppose because as if the condition is if and only if we have to prove in two ways first of all we suppose that h contain in k or k contain in h and we prove that h union k is a subgroup and then we suppose that h union k is a subgroup and we prove that if h union k is a subgroup then h contain in k or k contain in h so suppose either h contain in k or k contain in h means all the elements of h in present in k or all the elements of k present in h we have to show that h union k is a subgroup of g by the given condition if k contain in h it's mean that h union k is the h set or h group and if the h contain in k then the union of h and k is k so we know that h and k as defined h and k are the subgroups it's mean that h union k is also subgroup hence one way has proved and we will now prove it reversely here the proof is written the h union k is a subgroup of g and as h and k are subgroups of g conversely suppose that h union and k is a subgroup now we are supposing that a union k is a subgroup and we have we will prove that a, if a union k is a subgroup then h contain in k or k contain in h suppose that a union k is a subgroup of g to prove either a union h contain in k or k contain in h suppose on contrary that h is not contain in k h is not contain in k or k is not contain in h it's mean that they have some different elements so let an element a belongs to h but does not belong to k h belongs to h minus k means that this statement means that h belongs to a belongs to h but does not belong to k and this statement tells us that b belongs to k but does not belongs to h hence since a comma b belongs to h union k because in union we take all the elements so a from here and b from here h union k a comma b belongs to h union k 
and we said that H union K is a subgroup, so their product commutative law hold. So A B also belongs to H union K because H union K is a subgroup. So it's mean that A B is either belongs to H or A B either belongs to K. Suppose that B belongs to H. Then B will be equal to as we said that A B belongs to H and as H is a subgroup so the inverse of A is also present in it. So A inverse into A B by using commutative law A inverse into A into B this give us identity into B and this give us B. This shows that B belongs to H where our, our supposition was B belongs to A not to H but here we prove that B belongs to H. So this is a contradiction to our supposition so either H contain in K or K contain in H. Here the proofs end. I hope you understood. Thank you so much.